audiences before 40 years ago. <laughs> I was in college. Our uh, doctor in my small college town took care of us during the day. And at night he saw young women who were uh, possibly pregnant or possibly having some kind of sexual disease or illness. And that doctor took care of people during the evening hours and at night. And after about two years of doing that, he was run out of town. And then the women there had nothing, because the student services was not going to help them. And then I had friends who went everywhere, many different places. I had a friend who died. I had a friend who went to New York to supposedly a practitioner who knew what they were doing. And I was working in Michigan and she called me and she said, I don't know what to do. I'm bleeding. I think I'm going to die. And she was back home in her home community of Cincinnati. She had had the procedure done in New York. This was during the period when you did not discuss this with your parents. It was religion. It was societal norms. It was health care professionals who would not take care of you. And I said, Susan, either you're going to lose your life, you're going to be paralyzed, you have to seek help. And thank God she broke down the barrier with her mother, who was a nurse. The nurse got her to prompt attention. But probably all of us who have a little gray or white in hair can tell you about a friend who went through some kind of experience. And this is why we are concerned. We should not take for granted those 40 years. We should not take for granted that everything will be there for our young persons coming ahead of us. We have to protect those rights. Thank you for having me.